everybody. Happy fucking Sunday or whatever the fuck day it is. I don't even know anymore. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> this is Christy Unleashed and I am your host, Christy Miller. And we have a killer fucking show for you tonight as always. Yes. The next 30 minutes are going to be hell on earth for the people on our list. So get ready, bitches. <laughs> and with me as always is my favorite human being, my co-host, my comedy husband, my Robin to my Batman, my Dinah girl to my Electra woman. Hey, see what I did there? That was an old somebody's <laughs> reference, sweetie. And, I like it. Uh, Mark Riccadonna. <laughs> Christy, it's so awesome to be here. You, uh, it goes back. You're my favorite. I, I, I get so excited when I know you're about to unleash on somebody. <laughs> I love it because everybody tells me like some people just get me mad on purpose or say something to me that's going to set me off and then they're screaming I go why do you want me to get upset they're like because it's nothing funnier than you going on a rant and cussing about something <laughs> it's true <laughs> that's I'm why like the kid in the I'm the kid in the cafeteria who like stands up and is like I wouldn't take that if I was you but then again I'm a man it's like, I just can't wait to see you go, go, go full Mortal Kombat on somebody. I'm so I'm the glad. one who's in the crowd going, finish him. <laughs> I'm like thinking to myself, thank God I didn't have kids because they would have been murdered. My kids would be so broken and fragile from me cussing them <laughs> out constantly. <laughs> or they'd be the toughest people on earth and nothing would affect them. They would be superhero. <laughs> Your words, old cigarette, yeah. whiskey, and coffee. Yep, looking at the kids. Just going, another day. Yeah, yeah. Call me whatever you want. Ping. Words flying off. Ping. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't said. You ain't said nothing. My mother hasn't said to me. <laughs> and that's when she's in a good mood. <laughs> oh God! Speaking of pieces of shit. You ready to kick this show off? <laughs> Let's go for it. All right, this people. Is a good one. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a good one, motherfuckers. Buckle up, buttercups. It's about to get fucking shady as fucking here. And it's time to pour the Celebra tea. <laughs> All right, motherfuckers, let's pour this tea. Ooh, and we got some big dick tea coming up right here, honey. Big dick tea in the hizzy. Kim Kardashian is intrigued by Pete Davidson. I think it's they're both intrigued with each other because neither one of them know how the other one's famous. <laughs> I think the word intrigued is a new code word that all the TikTokers are using for fucking nothing. <laughs> We've been intriguing all night, sweetie. <laughs> Finally, a video with Pete Davidson I want to watch. Right? <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> How could you see a skinny ass behind all that big ass, sweetie? All you would see is a little tip of blonde hair behind the crack. <laughs> and his teeth. Oh. <laughs> I can't. Oh, she's so gorgeous and he has a big dick. Good night. So I guess. Oh, well, she finally found a white boy with a dick bigger than a black guy. <laughs> we should put him in the Smithsonian. <laughs> See, not all white guys are not hung. We found one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't like and they were like and then Kim and him had arranged for a private dinner in Staten Island. Okay, first of all, you're Kim Kardashian. Why are you slumming it in Staten Island? She's <laughs> not even Italian. You're not even Italian. <laughs> Don't you have to be a tag to go to Staten Island? <laughs> hey, sweetie, it I didn't cost more on the toll if you're not. 
Hey, uh, sweetie, uh, you're used to banging guys from Rikers Island, not Staten Island. <laughs> Dad <laughs> gets him out. She gets them off. <laughs> and, 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 right when they they're when they get out of Rikers, they go, just when I thought I was out, Kim pulls me back in. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of people that need to be locked up in Rikers, the baby returns to the rolling loud after his a homophobic rant. <laughs> Uh, oh low life yep but that you know what though bin. you know what though if he gets to murder a kid in walmart have two hit albums and say all that bad shit and those that really mean shit he said about you know people with aids and dying and, and the gay community and all that shit he said and he didn't even apo- he apologized and he took it back Probably because his gangster buddies probably made fun of him and called him a fag. And now he's, I'm taking it back. Yeah, the faggot is what his name is now. (laughs) Oh, wait a minute. No, no, even better. He's the bottom. Nothing. (laughs) So this guy gets a pass, but Dave Chappelle doesn't. Mm. Uh. Can we have a, a moment of silent shade for how fucking ridiculous that is? Yep. I, I can't. This shade is like the Jaws thing. It's just, I, I don't get it. Like this guy, how did anybody not whack this guy yet, the baby? He killed that kid. Uh, it was self-defense in Walmart. Really? What are you defending yourself from? Getting um, the last pack of gum? No, the Walmart greeter. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck Have a nice day. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, I can't. And then, you know, they, and they want to get him on that. It reminds me of the Cuomo shit. They wanted him on the nursing home deaths, but they got him on sex scandals. So instead of getting them on the gunshots, you know, killing the guy in Walmart, they're trying to get the baby on the gay rants, you know, so they got to find something. It's just, it's just like, why don't you get him on what's really, he shouldn't have been out of prison. Oh, it's self-defense. I don't believe that. That's bullshit. I don't believe that. We'll continue making the country divide and fight over pieces of shit like this. Yep. Well, my thing is, the kid he killed in Walmart was a black kid, so I don't believe it's self-defense. Now, if it was some white Kyle Rittenhouse motherfucker, MAGA, black power, then I'd be like, yeah, self-defense. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, he could have, why didn't he kill Kyle Rittenhouse? That would have done America a favor. Full <laughs> heel, you know? I So that's why I don't believe it. If it was a white dude, I'd be like, yeah, self-defense. <laughs> Walmart, <laughs> MAGA, you know? <laughs> Maga Mart, Wall Maga. You know what I mean? <laughs> I get it. Look at it's not the first time Walmart's tried to kill black people, Tracy Morgan. Nothing. <laughs> I see you behind that shade. I see you in there. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Oh, so speaking of all Dave Chappelle shit, Dave Chappelle won't bend the demands of transgender community over closer controversy. And he shouldn't, because he didn't do anything wrong. If you want- I, why does everybody have to appeal to the, the wants and needs of other people's shit? How about like, meeting in the middle? Have you ever heard of that? Yeah, or you well, you're going after mutual. him. Yeah, go to his it, mutual. How about mutual? You know, it's always you know demand, 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 and the bitch that caused the walkout anyway at Netflix, the trans woman of color that caused the walkout, 
that bitch has so many racist and sexist tweets about Chinese people and, and gay and all this shit that she's about Mexicans. Like they pulled all her receipts out, honey, yeah, and out yeah. of this bitch. And I was like, before you come for somebody, honey, make sure your receipts are in order because you don't want none of that this bitch in there she's like oh well i'm over that i already accounted for that okay what about kevin hart's tweet one joke he wasn't even being serious he was being joking and he loses his oscar hosting job but this bitch goes on long for months racist rants about mexicans and chinese people not speaking the language and get it together you fucked up my dinner and i didn't you're the one go back to your country learn the language and she's a trans woman of color and you're saying this, but it's okay for you. But, and, but it's, it's, okay it's, so, it's so backwards. It's like everybody, if you want to be, okay, I always tell people, you want to be an even playing field, then you better be ready to play the even playing field game. Because guess what? Now we're all on the same level. We're all, yep. we're all one. I'm all about that. You know me, everybody gets a seat at the table in my house. I don't give a fuck who you are or what you look like or what you're into. Come over. Mama will take care of you. But if you start throwing some like, you know, bullshit, like uh, not take accountability for your shit, but everybody, you point fingers, but you can't point fingers at yourself, bitch, bye. Girl, yeah. sit your ass down. Go sit with Caitlyn Jenner and her crazy ass. I think I, 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 there's nothing better served than watching <clears throat> a victim that becomes a bully and becomes a victim again, oh. and they cry about it. There's oh. nothing funnier than seeing somebody try to puff up and be the bully, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, no, you are you're the you're the victim again. Yeah. Oh, when it fits uh, your when it fits your narrative, you're the victim. No, but, but it, it's important when I when it's something that I want. It's important. Yeah. Remember that. Of course, hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello it's about me hello hello <laughs> you can't have victim without i am that was bad that was bad i'm sorry i i should shade myself for that one i was trying sweetie <laughs> you can't win them all you know you can't bet a thousand you know i'm not hot at the plate today <laughs> <laughs> oh god and even even crazy ass caitlin is defending Dave Chappelle and says the closer wow. controversies about woke cancel culture run amok. <laughs> She's right. Yeah. You know, it's like Dave said, it's not about the LGBTQIA community. They've been nothing but loving and supportive. Leave them alone. This is about corporate and what I can and cannot say and it's interesting and and that's 100 percent right and caitlin saying the same thing which is funny that i would agree with anything caitlin jenner says that fucking cuckoo <laughs> bitch so <laughs> she's oh uh, hi this is caitlin jenner and i'm running for governor no you're not okay stop <laughs> and look how far you got your own family doing the polls oh her own family didn't vote for her the only I, can, I, I, I gotta say, I, I kind of love her. I kind of love it. It's so fucking crazy. The crazy is at 11. Yeah. I love it. It's crazy is that, that uh, is that infinity. <laughs> it's the infinity pool of crazy. Oh, God. It's just <laughs> nut job after nut job. And but like, I find this, now follow me on this. I find it interesting that Dave Chappelle just won this battle with Comedy Central of getting his show and getting his money that they kept, right? He yeah. got ownership of his show and he got all his money. He got paid. All of a sudden, all this shit comes flying out. I'm trying to cancel. Do you think that corporate maybe has created this? Not Netflix, not, not Ted. But I'm talking Comedy Central. It's interesting, right? Now, if he hadn't done that, nobody would have said shit. Because Six and Stones were the whole LGBTQ, which was a brilliant fucking joke. And I was angry I didn't write that. Oh, my God, I was so mad when I heard that joke. It's so fucking good. That 
he even though he got controversy, but it wasn't nothing. And he won a fucking Grammy for it. Now they're trying to shut him down just by telling his story with his experience with woke and the trans community and how he, you know, his whole experience. That's what the whole joke was about his experience. And they're trying to destroy this man. So who's yeah. behind this? I don't believe it's a trans community because I, all my trans friends that I know people, I, I, every one of them was like, what was wrong with it? it was yeah. nothing. I watched it. They watch it because I told them to watch it. And some of them that were upset because of the talking points and the blog posts and all the shit taken out of context that was blowing up all over social media and the news, they just listened to that. And when they actually watched it, they changed their tone and they saw the whole thing in its context. So everyone I know is not offended. Like, what is the uproar? And that makes you think it's and when Dave said it's corporate. It's about what I can and cannot say. It's not I mean, about the community. Remember, he left the country in the middle of his show being at its peak. Walking away from $52 million. And then he had the, the issue with the money not going to him. Yep. And then he also, I mean, he constantly gets told everywhere he goes, they tell him he's not allowed to smoke. And he's like, fuck that. He lights up everywhere. Yep. And the thing is, is they're trying to tell somebody what to do to a person that you can't tell what to do. And he has enough people behind him. He can do what he wants. Yep. And he's not hurting anybody. He's not shooting 19 year olds at Walmart. You know what I mean? He's not. He's making he's not, people laugh. Yeah, it's the best thing you can do to somebody. He's making them laugh, but he's also taking really fucking tense, sensitive subjects and bringing them to light and making people talk about them, bringing it into the mainstream because it's shit that we won't deal with. We're forced to deal with. And when you laugh, you can heal from it. If you don't deal, you can't heal. And that's what comedy does. And Dave's the master. He's the master. I think Dave should buy CBS and change the name to the Chappelle Broadcasting Service. <laughs> How great would that be if he oh. ran the news oh. and the sitcoms? Hey, and the... this is Dave Chappelle. And today in the news, you can go <laughs> fuck yourself. Back to you, Bob. <laughs> I love it. The Chappelle Broadcasting System. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, brilliant it. that's so brilliant it's like when bill cosby tried to buy nbc you know <laughs> now Didn't it's that... bill's company that's what it stands for <laughs> <laughs> now it's bill's company the network of bill cosby <laughs> wow Didn't it happen to eddie murphy too yeah Isn't there like, yeah. they fucking went after oh, yeah. him yeah they tried to fucking smash him mm-hmm. and turn him out and turn him yep. into a little oh, yeah. puppet and he wouldn't yep. do it exactly and when you wait long enough and and hold your ground the way eddie did the way Chappelle did and even i hate to say it ugh, ugh, bill cosby did you kind of run your own shit bill cosby got himself out of jail because he stuck to the story and that's the way it is wow <laughs> you know I and, just talked to an old comic last night who oh. said, word is, no matter what, because he used to work the road with, and he'd be part of Cosby's thing, never bring your girlfriend or your wife, because he would like slide her notes saying like, what are you doing with that loser? What are you doing with that loser? Wow. Well, I could be raping you after the show. <laughs> Drink this. <laughs> 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 he said that's been oh, that's brilliant. Stage, everybody knew. Leave fucking Bill yeah. Cosby alone. Do don't bring a vagina him. near him. Yep. If you're fucking a woman or any woman that you give a shit about, don't bring her around Bill. <laughs> I found Caitlin. My... Caitlin, I gotta introduce you to my friend Bill. <laughs> oh hey Bill Cosby. Oh, I like black men. <laughs> Just like my daughter. You see. Uh, she's got a stick pussy. I don't know how to insert. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I can't. Uh, but speaking of old 
slime balls that you shouldn't bring women around, who's a scumbag, but rocks right now in this world. And I've hung out with this guy. He is the rock and roll Bill Cosby, but he doesn't have the drug you to fuck you. <laughs> the rock and roll Bill Cosby. <laughs> He's everybody's Jewish grandmother. Gene Simmons. <laughs> Pounds of makeup, uh, high leather heels, spandex. Honey. Well, think about grandmas. <laughs> they have that red lipstick painted on. Their eyebrows are way up here. You want to go down to the to the to the steakhouse and pick up men? You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gene Simmons tells anti-vaxxers <laughs> to kiss off. Get over <laughs> yourselves. <laughs> Oh, I love this, this clip. You know what? Let's cut this. Gene Simmons was on BBC. It was like the BBC's version of Good Morning America. It's Good Morning Britain. Hello. Good morning, Britain. Hello. Totally good. We're going to have a bloody rock store on you, you know, because we got a <laughs> fucking epidemic over here. And if anyone's going to tell you to piss off, Spotty, is Gene Simmons. We're going to cut to the clip right now. We're not concerned if you agree with it or not. We're concerned about you making us sick. So no. get your goddamn COVID it's shot a good point. and prevent and other people from getting your stuff. It's a good point. And we, we're having a debate this morning about that very thing, really. A debate about whether mask wearing should be returned to be mandatory here in the UK. Res uh, restrictions have been lifted. And I understand it's you it's even suggest people who come to your concerts wear them for their own protection. We are doing the KISS cruise shortly, and you will not be able to get on the cruise unless you're vaccinated. Look, before you go to school, you have to have your children get the flu vaccine and the polio vaccine. And there's no discussion. And, you know, what about my rights? Well, you don't have as many rights as you think. When you get up to a red light, you must stop. There's no choice. It's because it's not about you. It's about the other innocent people going by. So get over yourself. Even if you get in your car, you must put on a seatbelt. Well, you're taking away my rights, and the government's telling me what to do. That's right. The government is telling you what to do. Shut up. Be respectful of other people and get a vaccine. Put on your seatbelt. Stop at the red light. Stop being selfish. <laughs> when, un when Uncle Gene talks, the kids listen. You mean Auntie Jean. <laughs> Auntie Jean. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, <laughs> him and Paul Stanley are the old Jewish uncle and aunt. Oh, they're a uh, Paul. <laughs> aunt, that's Aunt Paul, by the way. Yeah, aunt Sorry, Aunt Paula. <laughs> that this thing. Hello. Ooh. You know it, Gene. <laughs> that's right. I wish Gene was. I wish Gene had changed his last name to Pool. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see the video and they hit him with the laser pointer? Oh. And he does like this move. He puts his hands on his hips. He goes, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come out there and I'll kick your ass. Dead serious. <laughs> Stop it. I'm serious. I want to rock and roll all night and suck your <laughs> cock every day. Oh, I, <laughs> I live for Kiss. The, the worst band, the worst music. Their biggest song was written by their drummer, Peter Chris, number one. And they didn't want to record Beth. They thought it was stupid. Oh. It didn't fit the image. He recorded it anyway. He talked them into it. Number one song for months. Their biggest hit to date. And they didn't want to oh, record that, it. That has to piss off Gene Simmons. Oh, you know it. Did. Everything about him. He's like this. <laughs> Damn it. Tried to lick his own asshole. I can't. If you if if you're ever bored at night and you're just sitting there in bed and you don't know what to do with yourself, just go on YouTube and use keywords, Paul Stanley. Folgers commercial. Oh, you'll thank me. You will. You will thank him. It is the funniest shit. I remember that commercial. <laughs> <laughs> At the end, he does some 
Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I in your cup. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't sing lick it up. <laughs> he spills his folders on the he spills his folders on the floor. Lick it up. Lick it up. <laughs> <laughs> that might be my favorite one of their songs. It's uh, just stupid. It's the whole they're the whole band is stupid and I love it. <laughs> I can't get enough. I love KISS. I'm such I'm a KISS, I'm in the KISS army. I love I'm them. in the reserves. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> and Paul Stanley wishes he was in the KISS Navy. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm in the Navy too, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> And speaking of semen, <laughs> get vaccinated. <laughs> I fucking love you so much. Oh, you're the best. No, you're you are. No, you. No, you. 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 you got a gift. You do. Uh, this has been this has been so fun. So uh uh God. I like uh, the new format. I think it's fun. It is fun. It's quick. It's in and out like a dick. It's in and out like Pete Davidson and a bitch's vagina. <gasps> Nothing. <laughs> you mean this is this half hour is filled with STDs and bad SNL skits? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys, we mm. love you so much. This has been another edition of Christy Unleashed. I've been Christy Miller. That's been Mark Riccadonna. You can follow Mark Riccadonna at Mark Riccadonna on all social media platforms, or you can go to his website at markriccadonna.com and look up all his show info there. You can follow me at Christy Miller Comedy on Instagram and also on the YouTube channel, the YouTube, because I'm 100. And uh, you can also follow the show at Christy Unleashed right here on Instagram, right here on Instagram. I'm not even on it. Anyway, it's, it's late. And uh, <laughs> you can follow it if you, you want. Follow, you can stalk us. That would be nice. Yes. <laughs> and you can come see us live Sunday, November 14th at the comic strip at 8 o'clock p.m. Mark Riccadonna and I are doing the Christy Unleashed live on stage, the Naughty and Nice edition. So there'll be some stand up and then some Christy Unleashed live. You don't want to miss it. Tickets are free. Just click the Eventbrite link. Go to my Instagram. It's in my bio. Just grab a ticket and come out. We just want to see all your funny faces and have a good time and just party down. And uh, I'm going to, and if you're in uh, Pennsylvania, come out to Soul Jules uh, this weekend. I'll be with Dice and uh opening for dice and then the 10th and the 11th before that i'll be at levity live with dice so uh it'll be a good time so anyway get vaccinated we love you deuces you pieces of shit